Hi everyone, welcome. Um, I wanted to come to you today because I'm actually sitting in my kitchen and I was doing my meal prep for the week and I've had a lot of people ask me how I do my meal prep and about what I'm gonna be doing for my meal planning for Core de Force. And I think what I'm gonna be doing is definitely sharing what my meal plan looks like but I wanted to share with you what the actual core de force meal plan looks like. So if you've done any of our beach body programs, such as 21 day fix, 21 day fix extreme, masters hammer and chisel, 22 minute hardcore, country heat, drop a one into the comments and let me know that you have tried one of our programs before. Um, so basically the core to force meal plan is going to be based on the container portion control system. So it's about putting whole foods in normal portions so that you, you know, eat the right amount and you eat whole foods. It's not about low calorie, it's not about low fat, it's not about low carb. It's about a balanced diet in the right portion. So you get a bunch of different containers, one for veggies, one for fruit, one for protein, one for carbs. Um, you can have bread, okay, bread, rice, pasta, it is allowed in normal size portions. One for healthy fats, which is like avocado, cheese, hummus, and then one for things like dressing, seeds, oils, and nuts. So this is what they look like. This is my green container for my veggies, it's labeled veggies, and you can actually put how many of these you get a day right here in this little box which is really easy and makes things really easy for you to plan. So what you can do is you can either like, if you're making a big salad, you can kind of like scoop a bunch of veggies into the salad using this, or you can fill this with carrots and grab and go, cause it has a cover and is like a normal Tupperware. And this is my fruit one. Oh, sorry, it's purple. Um, and it says fruits on it and you can put how many fruits you have on here um, and it's super easy. So those are the two I have sitting here but I obviously have all of the containers. So the Core de Force meal plan is going to be based off these containers and you get a certain amount based on a calculation of your weight and your lifestyle like how sedentary versus active you are, how many containers you get a day. Um, I think you're going to find yourself very, very full because you're going to be like, okay, this is a lot of food because it's whole food. Um, we don't do, even if it's low calorie, things like diet soda, um, really processed foods. It's just not about that. It's about whole, regular foods. Um, so if you would like to not be one of the um, statistics in America where... You, you gain between 10 to 15 pounds between Halloween, which is today, and New Year's, drop a two into the comments. I wanna know who those people are who are concentrating on their health and fitness through the holidays. That is so, so, so important, right? Um, we don't wanna be those statistics and we wanna help you not be those statistics. So what's cool about the quarter force meal plan is that you, there are some benefits and some downfalls. So if you've d done 21 day fix, you know you get built in treats, I'm gonna call them. So you can replace one of your containers up to three times a week with these treats such as wine, chocolate, and chips, and it's not considered cheating. So that is a huge benefit to the 21 day fix meal plan. Core de Force does not have those built in treats, so it's gonna be four weeks of sticking to your meal plan without those built in treats but you do get extra containers versus something like 21 Day Fix or 22 Minute Hardcore or Hammer and Chisel or Country Heat. So on week one, you get your normal amount of containers. On week two, you get to add a purple container, which is a fruit, because um, you're working a little bit harder and they wanna make sure you have the energy for that. Week three, you get to add a purple, which is a fruit, and a healthy fat, which is avocado, cheese, hummus, and for all the other meal plans, no matter what category you've been, you've been in, you only get one healthy fat. So you only get um, one healthy fat, whether you're you know, in the plan A or plan E. So getting an extra healthy fat on week three is kind of cool, right? You can have cheese and avocado or avocado and hummus or hummus and cheese. 
And then week four, you're going to revert back to your week one um, plan. They are recommending that you do not go over your carbohydrate, which is your yellow containers, um, because you have enough um, sugar and carbohydrate in your fruit. You, you are going to get carbohydrates in yellow containers, and like I said, you can have pasta or bread um, in those containers. That is allowed um, in normal portions, but if you are hungry, you will want to add extra veggie containers. I'm gonna, I hear from most people, oh my God, this is so much food, I can't even finish it. So I'm gonna doubt that you're gonna be hungry, but if you find yourself hungry one day, it is okay to have extra veggie containers. So if you guys have any questions on the quarter force meal plan, feel free to ask them. I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And if you have more questions on meal plans um, or how I've made fitness my business, you can check out JillianKaplan.com. Talk to you guys later. Bye.